Hi, my name is Father David, and I am the Executive Director of St. Anthony's Guild and a member of the Franciscan Friars. On behalf of all the Franciscan Friars, we want to wish you a very happy Feast of St. Francis, which is coming up in a couple days. Our founder, St. Francis of Assisi, and this is a beautiful statue of him from the 18th century, but this man, Francis of Assisi, is one of the most popular saints in the world, but not everybody knows everything about him. So I thought today we would start our beginning of this festival of St. Francis by having a little quiz. Are you ready? So here we go. The first question. St. Francis, after he was born, was first named A. Giovanni, B. Francesco, or C. Ordano? The answer is A. Giovanni. Francis was first named Giovanni by his mother, but his father, because he loved the country of France so much, later changed his name to Francesco. Number two. St. Francis founded a religious order of men called A. The Franciscan Friars B. The Jesuits C. The Order of the Trinity The answer is A. The order St. Francis founded is today called the Franciscans, named after St. Francis. Number three. The followers of St. Francis take three vows and we wear them on our cord that we wear. In the three knots are the three vows. A, poverty, chastity, obedience. B, poverty, stability, homelessness. Or C, obedience, stability, silence. The Franciscan friars do take three vows. Poverty, because we owe nothing for ourselves. Chastity, we do not marry. Obedience, we listen to our superiors for guidance in our decision. The three vows, poverty, chastity, and obedience. St. Francis also founded two other religious orders, which are A, the Poor Clare Nuns and the Third Order Franciscans, B, the Sisters and Brothers of the Holy Family, or C, the Little Brothers and Sisters of the Poor. The answer is A, St. Francis also founded the Poor Clare Nuns with St. Clare, who was a dear friend of his, and the Third Order of Franciscans, which is for lay women and men who desire to follow the Franciscan way of life. Number five, one of the hallmarks of St. Francis and the Franciscan Friars is their great care and love for A, cities, B, churches, C, the poor and desperate. One of the hallmarks of St. Francis and the Franciscan Friars is their great care and love for God's poor and desperate. St. Francis loved the poor, and he saw, as he called him, the poor Christ in each person who was hungry, sick, homeless, or in need. St. Francis dedicated his life to serving the poor, and the Franciscan Friars serve and love the poor over these 800 years, just as St. Francis did. As we celebrate this great feast of St. Francis of Assisi, as we look upon him, this very popular and wonderful saint, let's not regulate him to the bird bath of animals and creation only. Let's also remember that St. Francis's great love was for the poor and the desperate. And as I said, we Franciscans, continue to work with the poor, just as St. Francis did. We can only do this work with the poor because you help us financially and with your prayers. Just as you pray for us, we pray for you twice each day. I'm here now on this great feast as we celebrate and are filled with joy to also remember those who have very little, if nothing, the poor and the desperate. You help us help them. Without you, we couldn't continue this work. So many, over two million people come to us each year, poor, hungry, without clothes, without food, without a home, without medical care. We need you and your financial help to help us to continue our work with these people.
As we struggle in our society today and in our world with the coronavirus, so many more people need our help. It's hard for us to keep up. It's urgent then on this great feast. Please, with your wonderful generosity as always, help us to help the poor. Let's put our motto, love at work, into action. Let's make love work for the poor and desperate, for God's poor, for the poor Christ, as St. Francis called him, who is among us, walking among us, and in desperate need of our help. God bless you and happy feast day. And thank you for your love and your care, your generosity, and your prayers. Happy feast day.